Phil Mickelson vs. Tiger Woods is easily modern golf's greatest rivalry. Nevertheless, we all saw the two warming up to each other as they grew older. That was before all the off-course action between Live Golf and the PGA Tour froze their growing friendship. As golf's civil war continues, Tiger and Phil have made the sides they're on pretty clear. Tiger is the PGA Tour's big gun, and Phil is Liv's star soldier. Since the beginning of the conflict, there has been a lot of back and forth between the two legends. However, Phil has recently been throwing bombs at Tiger. We'll get to Phil's scathing poke at Tiger in a minute, but first, how did it get to this point? The first strike came from Phil's infamous conversation with Alan Shipnick of Golf Digest. That tell-all chat revealed on the Fire Pit Collective came with a lot of heat for Phil. Calling the Saudis scary people while agreeing to work with them was one part of the story. Then, Phil went in hard on the PGA Tour. He was a big dog on the circuit, and he clearly had a bone to pick. He was angry about the Tour's treatment of its players. In his words, they, the Tour's managers, have been able to get by with manipulative, coercive, strong-arm tactics because we, the players, had no recourse. So that was all Liv was to Phil, a recourse, a leverage to force the BGA Tour's hand to change things on the Tour. While Phil was playing double agent, Tiger wanted nothing to do with Liv. How strongly can you say no than by rejecting over $700 million? Besides, he thought those that took the money were sellouts. Turned their, their back on what has allowed them to get to this position. Um. When Phil was asked for his thoughts about Tiger's comments on live players, he simply said he respected Tiger's stance. Uh, I certainly, you know, respect his opinion. I have a lot of respect for him. He said that because, according to him, he'd expected Tiger's emotional response. But it seems Phil's respect for Tiger has not stood the test of time. Phil was one of the 11 players that sued the PGA Tour after it removed all the live players from its roster. From the outside, it looks like the legal battle and other live-related pressures have paid off in favor of the players. One significant change that has happened on the PGA Tour is the size of its prize bags. They all seem to have grown overnight. It's all that midnight pizza and beer, isn't it? Probably not. So the question is, where did the money come from? Both Tiger and Phil have had something to say about its origin, and it seemed someone knew more than the other. In that conversation with Alan Shipnuck, Phil had mentioned that the PGA Tour was sitting on a throne of cash, you know, like some crazy lottery winner. No, he didn't say that. While complaining about what he called the Tour's obnoxious greed, he said, The Tour is sitting on multiple billions of dollars worth of NFTs. They are sitting on hundreds of millions of dollars worth of digital content we could be using for our social media feeds. The players need to own all of that. We played those shots. We created those moments. We should be the ones to profit. The tour doesn't need that money. They are already sitting on an $800 million cash stockpile. How do you think they're funding the PIP? Or investing $200 million in the European tour? The tour is supposed to be a non-profit that distributes money to charity. How the F is it legal for them to have that much cash on hand? The answer is, it's not. But they always want more and more. They have to control everything. Their ego won't allow them to make the concessions they need to. Months later, at Tiger's Hero World Challenge, he was asked if PGA Tour guys owed Phil an apology. The reporter reasoned that Phil had shaken the PGA Tour's money tree and the players were reaping the fruits of his labor. That's some sweet labor, though. He got the biggest pension fund in the history of golf in return for it. So it's hardly a sacrifice. But was Tiger ready to apologize? We took out an enormous loan uh, during the pandemic. Hey, slow down, Tiger. How enormous was this loan? He went on to say, If we had another year of this pandemic, our tour would only be sustained for another year. So we took out an enormous loan. It worked, it paid off in our benefit, Hence, we were able to use that money to make the increases that we've made. Really, Tiger? Are you sure about this pandemic business you speak of? The PGA never honored Mickelson with a response, but they knew they had to mop up their spokesperson's gaffe. Instead of backing Tiger's comments, the PGA Tour told Sports Illustrated's Bob Herrick that the funding had come from their reserves and mitigating actions. Mitigating actions? 
Phil must have giggled when he saw this. After CBS reporter Kyle Porter compared Tiger's and Phil's opinions on the source of the PGA Tour's new money, Phil brought out the numbers. He had been watching the drama in silence, but it looked like Porter's post provoked a response from him. He reacted to the tweet with a comment that showed details of the PGA Tour's financial situation. According to his tweet, he got his figures from the PGA Tour's IRS 990 form for 2018. He said the document shows the PGA Tour was holding $1.6 billion in stocks, $700 million in cash, and $1.15 billion in non-liquid assets as of 2018. Then he explained that this was from the non-profit section alone. He said the for-profit section hasn't been stated since 2012, but was more than the non-profit part at that time. He then finished by saying this can all be Googled. Either Tiger didn't know he could Google it, or he's just had a bad internet connection for too long. However, in the PGA Tour's response from Bob Herrig, they tried to do some damage control on Tiger's behalf. They said he might have been talking about something else. That's the possibility of their reserves falling below $100 million if golf had not returned in 2020. All right, so everything is kind of connected. But who do you think is lying? Tell us in the comments. During Tiger's lengthy press conference at the Hero World Challenge, he responded positively to the idea of an agreement between Liv and the PGA Tour. His only condition was that Greg Norman had to go before they could sit and talk. In addition to that, their fight has to be taken out of court. On Mickelson's end, he told Sports Illustrated he wouldn't mind playing on the PGA Tour again, but he also said he was at peace with not playing on the circuit again. To him, only the majors matter. After his harsh comments about the Saudis, Phil left golf for over four months, but he stayed away from social media for even longer. He used to engage anyone and everyone, whether to exchange punches or accept praises, especially on Twitter. What brought him back was a tweet by Flushing It Golf. The golf fan account had proposed an event between live players and PGA Tour players. This imaginary tournament would use the Ryder Cup format, and Tiger and Phil would captain their respective camps. And the way Flushing It saw it, it would be the most watched golf event in history. It's a tantalizing showdown if you think about it, but Mickelson didn't think there would be a match to watch. In fact, he felt it would be a mismatch. In his reply to a reply to the original tweet, Mickelson said, It sounds great, but we would dominate them so soundly and it would be over so quick that TV would have to fill an hour of dead time. That's why it's not happening at this time. Wow, is that the cockiest golf trash talk of all time? kind of reminds one of this guy. Many golf fans, of course, thought Phil was delusional for thinking it would be a walk in the park for live boys. For others, he was just creating hype around the idea. Whatever it was, Phil seemed ready to throw blows. He was responding to every diss with sharp counter disses, and it was all fun until he kicked Tiger's bad leg. Yeah, this one. Someone had tagged Tiger under Phil's comment saying, Come on, man, let's make it happen. To this, Mickelson replied, tell him he can use a cart. No, right? And although some people found it funny, many commenters were not laughing at all. They thought it was insensitive because this injury might have cost Tiger the rest of his career. In fact, during a walking exercise to prepare for the Hero World Challenge, he had developed plantar fasciitis, an inflammation on in the bottom of his foot. And for the record, Tiger is open to using carts if they are allowed, as he did with his son Charlie at the 2022 PNC Championship. In the digital hostilities that followed in the comments section, there were talks of Mickelson living in Tiger's shadow throughout his career. And while some golf fans told him he was destroying his legacy, others reminded him that Tiger has done more for golf than he could ever do. And you can bet Phil reminded them of his 45 PGA Tour wins, including six majors. It might be a far cry from Tiger's 82 with 15 majors, but Phil is 8th on the all-time winners list, and that's not a bad career at all. Hopefully, they can both put their differences aside like gentlemen, because golf needs its legends. If you enjoyed this video about Phil Mickelson and Tiger Woods, check out the video on the screen now, or the one we posted below. We're sure you'll like that one too. See you there!